Melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. Approximately 70,000 new cases a year are diagnosed. Approximately 10% of those are fatal. The melanoma starts out as a normal looking lesion in most cases, a mole or a nevus, which is like a little ink blot stain. And what the lesion will do is it will change shape, size, color, and sometimes begin to hurt. If you have any of these lesions and you notice any change in something that's been there for years and years and years, get it checked out immediately. The key to having a good outcome is early prevention and a thorough removal of all abnormal tissue. Today we have a gentleman in his 50s who had a lesion over the past two or three months has gotten blackish with red and brown border, borders and it's gotten bigger. So we're going to biopsy it, we're going to send it off to the lab, and hopefully he's going to be okay. Okay, so you see we have a 1 by 1.3 centimeter uh, darkened lesion. Um, we're hoping that it is a junction nevus, but we're going to biopsy it for good measure. I like to clean up the area with both betadine and alcohol. I know that just plain alcohol is the standard, but I like doing both. Now, how long has this been here? A couple of months. A couple of months, and then and it just looked like a mole or a flat lesion yeah. before that. And it was there for. Looked like a. Like a scrape almost. ABCs of suspicious lesions. It's actually A, B, C, D, E. A is asymmetry. When we look at the lesion, we notice that it's not circular, it has borders that go in all different directions. C is the color. There's been a change in color. D is diameter. This is greater than six millimeters. The larger lesions are the ones of greater concern. And E is evolving. It is evolving. So basically, you're going to feel a whole bunch of cold. I'm going to put a little bit of numbing medicine in there. Cold, cold, cold. Isn't that cold? Yeah, it is. That's burr cold. Right behind there a little bit. A little cold. Okay, you're going to feel a little pinch, and you'll say, hey, what a mean guy. Say, ow, he's mean. And yeah, just a little burning as medicine goes in. Ow, he's mean. That's me. <laughs> you're the first one that took him up on that offer. <laughs> and this guy nice and numb. Good. And for anesthesia, I used a little bit of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine. The epinephrine helps control the amount of bleeding by causing vasoconstriction. Okay, that's sharp, right? Poking with a stick. Sharp there, right? A little bit, yeah. Sharp there? Yeah. Okay. How about you? you feel that? No. Feel that at all? No. Feel that at all? No. How about there? Beautiful. That's how we love it. Okay. And then you got the fix all, right? Now I have it ready to go. Okay, so punch biopsy. This is a three millimeter punch. It's big enough to get a good sized tissue sample. Um, one of the main sources of misdiagnosis is getting an incomplete sample. If the lesion were less than six millimeters, I'd take out the entire thing. But since it's larger than six millimeters, what I want to do is leave most of the lesion intact so that if we have to go back, we can establish the depths of the borders. So basically, I'm going to go in the, the darkest, worst looking part. And we want to go down to the level of subcutaneous fat. Okay there, Clarence? No problem. Okay. Okay. Get that light uh, off my head. You don't feel anything, right? No. Okay. And I'm just working slowly down into lesion. Now, a common myth from days gone by is that by doing a partial lesion, if it were melanotic, that would go rampant, and that's been shown in studies to not be the case. So, okay, let's see what piece we got. That's good. Okay, that's down to the level of fat. And this guy, be set aside. Silver I could stick. A long way to go, though. Yeah, if they win tonight, that's something, though. That we have a whole lot tonight. of high hopes for the fellas. Mm -hmm. Those darn Yankees are pretty good. Yeah, they are. Okay, it's being going to be good and sore later. Oh, that's right. That just be well, it'll just be like ah, you know. One of those. Goes off to the lab, and Pat's going to put a nice little dressing on that guy. Will do. Um, and you're going to use a gauze and tape, no band aids. Okay, and you don't need any antibiotic ointment or anything. We're going to give you some betadine packets to clean it up with, and it'll go off to the lab, and we'll have a report at the beginning of the week, and then basically next week we're going to come back and excise the whole thing in the appropriate margins as dictated by. Those are looking better than when I came in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, everybody's a wise guy. I mean, there you go. All right, we'll see you next week. Okay, good. Okay, so that's a fairly simple procedure that can mean life or death to a patient. Diagnosing a melanoma in time is crucial for a positive outcome. 
I'm going to send that specimen to the lab and they're going to give us a report and tell us what kind of cells that we have. And I'll be able to determine exactly what margins to use when I do the total excision next week. Let's hope he has a good result. And remember, if you have any lesions on your body that have changed shape, size, or color, and at any rate that you find noteworthy, get them checked out immediately.